So today's event is actually Tonic's first in-person event, which I'm pretty excited about, a little bit nervous, it's a bit like a performance. We held a practice event on Tonic to choose the best practitioners and the best supporters, the best listeners. And through this event, we managed to pick 100 people and they're all here today. You know, during my childhood, I had a lot of fun learning the violin, and so did a lot of my friends. At least they did in the beginning. Um, but then I witnessed this thing where a lot of them, at some point, sooner or later, discontinued, and they stopped learning, and they stopped practicing. And what they said was, I don't have enough time. It wasn't until later that I realized that what that really meant was that the fun and the excitement that we shared in the beginning of learning and, and picking up this new instrument was lost. So <laughs> I kind of made it my personal goal to find out why, find out what the reason was. So then I started performing and starting my career, winning competitions, and as I was performing around the world, I invested a lot of time and efforts into music education because I wanted to find out, I wanted to have access to the people who were learning, more people that I could talk to and find out the reason and see if there was, I don't know, a pattern. After a few years, I realized that the problem wasn't what I thought. It wasn't primarily in the learning phase. It wasn't like bad teachers. And it wasn't also primarily in the performance part either. It wasn't like bad performances made people want to quit. It was actually in the training phase. There just weren't enough positive experiences and feedback loops to support people's practicing and keep them engaged. So then when the pandemic hit, it was like, suddenly there was this opportunity where as I was asking myself, well, Ray, if you really care about this, helping people, why don't you do something about it? And I thought to myself, okay, well, this is an opportunity here. Let's do something. So this is where Tonic started to happen. It's basically a platform that our team has put together that's primarily focused on the practice part, on the live practice part, all the features support motivating you, helping you hold yourself accountable, giving you all the positive feedback loops around practicing. But spiritually, it's really about the positive experience, the fun. It's about finding that fun, coming back to it, so that you can reach your goals and be happy. Ariel. Ariel. Wow. Wow,其实我也从来没有跟演奏家这么近的距离耶，这真的是你完全就是拉给我听的这种感觉耶。哇，下一位呢，我们就是有Olivia，来大家掌声鼓励给Olivia。Hello, hello. Nanny没事,练琴都是,都是我开Tonic吗? 就会想要拉给他们听有点像是日常生活就在表演哦这样子就有更多表演的经验了哇那太好了哇恐怖很恐怖啊怎么会恐怖呢这不是就像一个琴房吗就像在Tonic上面的一个琴房吗比较大一点
to really spot that difference. Okay, that's cool. Oh, bravo! You know, they're rooting for you. They're going, they're, they're supporting. This is like, uh,他们有练习过有support的。在Tonic上面大家有当中做那个观众,你有没有感觉比较有这种support的感觉? Always say yes. Oh, yeah, oh, okay, good, good, yeah. All right, amazing, amazing. 任何问题都可以哦一个方向的话我觉得最重要的其实是环境我以前小的时候有时候大家会有一些人会觉得说他很爱秀可是我后来然后我就觉得说啊我是不是很爱秀的一个人我是爱秀吗然后我一直就一